What's up everyone? Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Do you guys want to hit slice serves and kick serves on demand? Well, if that is the case, you have found the right video and I'm going to show you how to do it. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's a lot of you guys that aren't subscribed and we're gaining a lot of views and subscribers on the channel and it's awesome to see that everybody's loving the content. Also want to mention, buy me a coffee. Uh, link is in the description if you guys want to support the channel for racket reviews and other things like that. So if you are wanting to hit your slice serves and kick serves on demand, you are in the right spot. Today I'm going to be do, showing you guys a drill that I do a lot, uh, you know, whether I'm in a training block or even when I'm away at school and I have some time to really focus in and dial on my slice serves and kick serves. The day I was actually doing this drill, I was still back at school, so this video was actually recorded a little bit ago, and it was actually why I was demoing the Pure Aero VS, so if you guys haven't seen that video, link is in the corner or down below somewhere. And it was also when my ankle was, you know, not great, so I was still able to get out there and work on my serve, and that's one other thing. This drill you can actually do without your really full service motion and you'll be able to see that in the video. So I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Enjoy this video. All right, here we go. We're starting at the service line with the slice serve. Now, the reason we're starting up here is really just to get the feel and I'm really like exaggerating everything at this moment. I'm really, as you can see, the serve itself is actually sl over slicing big time. I'm trying to aim, you know, in the doubles alley or sometimes in the green if I can even get it there. I'm choked up in the racket too, as you can see, which is just helping me get that feel. I'm gripping up and I'm just going for the big, big slice as possible, just so I can over exaggerate that feel. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit. There's three things that I'm really gonna focus on when we touch on all the serves in this video today. And that is the racket path, the racket angle in which where you make contact with the, with the ball, and as well, the loose grip. So obviously, on the slice serve and all the serves, it's very important to have that loose grip and I definitely have that right now. As far as the path goes, there you can see the loose grip is beginning right there. That is where it starts. The racket path, now that's one that's a little bit different for everyone because everybody hits the ball a little bit differently. So you need to be able to find that yourself. So find what, what works, find what, what feels good for you. Now the angle, is where it's a little bit difficult to explain, you know, especially for the slicer, but I'm still really exaggerating as I back up a bit, still going for a doubles alley if I can, or even in the green, it is difficult. I'm trying to have that angle that is creating the slice. Now that is going to look a little bit different than a kick serve or a flat serve, as you guys know. So I'm really focusing on the racket angle for this slice serve and exaggerating it as you can see. So now I'm back to the full court and I've now choked down. So I'm in the regular grip. I know you guys can't really see me, but I am still going, I'm still exaggerating. I'm still trying to get that feel of the slice going for the doubles alley. And now I'm kind of going into more of a serve motion and I'm going for you know, the single sideline, trying to aim more there because I'm still not quite in my regular serve spot. One thing, other, to, other thing to note here as well is that I'm not really gonna be jumping on the serve in this video. This is back when I really hurt my ankle. So I was just trying to get some reps in also to uh, get the feel of the ball on the serve because I knew I was gonna have to play regardless, hurt or not hurt, because we were going to the NCAAs at that time. So. This is also a good drill too, whether you know any level and you wanna work on these serves, like I'm not jumping here really, and I'm working on my spins and my serve. So here we go, we've completed the slice, we're on to the kick serve, and it is the exact same thing, but only on the other side of the net, and I'm trying to kick it into the green or the doubles alley. Now one thing when I keep saying this is, Normally, if you miss when you're trying to hit in the green or the doubles alley, you're actually gonna miss shorter. So it's actually gonna land in the box. 
And now my coach is actually coming over because we had a discussion about the kick serve and talking about two things that are super important when it comes to the kick serve is, as my coach likes to says, say, is ludicrous spin. He loves saying ludicrous spin, get that spin, which is created by the racket angle, the racket path, and the loose grip. But then also the height of your kick serve is just as important, if not more, because if you think about it, the higher the ball goes over the net, the higher it will bounce. It doesn't really necessarily, you know, mean it needs to have a lot of pace, right? So that, that goes for everyone, you know, it doesn't matter your level. If you want to have an effective kick serve, you can just aim higher over the net and it will bounce higher. So that's just what we were talking about there. The same three things apply still really working on it. See how high that one is there? I'm really trying to get that one high. That's pretty high considering where I'm standing too. So I'm backing up a bit. I'm still choked up, still trying to get that feel, exaggerating still, going for the doubles alley, going for the green. And a good rule of thumb too to see if, whether, especially on the kick serve, is is my ball, you know, if you're an advanced player, hitting the side fence when you're doing this, especially if you're going for the green in the doubles alley, if you have a, you know, if you're doing it properly and if you already have a good kick serve, it should hit the fence. And even for the slice serve, when we were talking about that, that should be slicing into the side fence as well. So those are some good um, cues, good reminders to think of when you're out there. I've backed up now not quite in the regular serve position maybe more where i am for doubles now i'm in the regular serve position i'm now i'm going for the box so once you get to that regular serve position so you back all the way up you're in the doubles alley all the way back then you move over closer to the hash mark that is when you can start going for the box and really trying to place it so that's what i'm doing now but you know what i'm still missing a bit into the doubles alley but that's okay because I really was trying to aim for the doubles alley the, the whole time. So like I said, really going for the out wide now. And now we're moving on to the flat serve. So this isn't necessarily working on spins, but we wanted to put this in here anyway, because it's important to work on your flat serve. So instead of standing off to the sides, you're actually standing right around in uh, to the T service line area. I start choked up too as well. Then I move back and I start going for a full, you know, service motion. The same things apply, especially if you want a heavy, you know, and powerful flat serve. The loose grip is really important. And for a flat serve, the angle, there isn't really much of an angle compared to the slice and the kick serve. So it's very, you know, simple. It's a flat serve. And as well as the racket path, um like i touched on before it's a it's a little bit different for everybody so here we are full court most of the time when i do this drill i always aim for the t just because it's the lowest part of the net not for like my confidence or anything but just because i start you know around the t and service line area and it's just to get that feel of the flat serve going you know straight really and then I just kind of keep aiming there the whole time. It's not like I can't hit a flat serve out wide or anything, but just for the sake of this drill, um, it's the same for why I was going kick serve with the backhand and slice into the forehand if you're, if you're a righty. All right, everyone, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and you were able to take something away from it and hopefully this drill is something that can help you guys it definitely try it out i've been doing it for probably about three years dating back you know my u16 junior days and i can tell you it really helps me a lot even when i'm having some trouble on my serve just to get that groove going and as i mentioned a lot in the video it's very important the angle of the racket. It doesn't matter how you get it there, but especially on the slice serve, you wanna be making contact over here, on the kick serve, right about here. So don't be too worried, you know, about how it gets there, but rather 
you know, the angle of the racket when it gets there. So you just want to make sure those things are happening when you're making contact with the ball, but don't really worry about the stuff that's leading up to there because, you know, everybody hits shots differently. Nobody's technique is the same. Nobody's perfect. So just, if you're going to think about one thing, think about that angle of the racket. But that is going to be it. Hope you guys are doing great. Going to keep the content coming and we will catch you guys on the next video. Yeah! Let's go!